Good evening, morning, and afternoon, freaks and geeks. This is Relouge, and welcome back to Contradiction. Last episode, the only thing that really happened, was that we figured out that Emma blames herself for Liam's death. Um... Before... Uh, what was I gonna check? Oh yeah! Before we do anything, I'm going to see if the, uh, hall... ...is opened yet. And I said me here every Friday after 8 minutes. Ah! Alright, I'm going to see if Ryan is at Atlas. So, I, I am behind on asking Ryan things. Nothing new here. Aha! A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Okay. Do you know what this is? Well, I think it's a bag. <laughs> is it a bag, Inspector? The shop. Oh, yes, the costume shop. Yes, we used to hire from them. For the course? Well, yes. For the course, at the end of each stage, we have a, a, a little party and we ask students to dress up or try acting out uh, oh. being somebody new. Their new selves, as it were. Could you explain a bit more? New selves? Hmm. One of the main elements of the course is learning how to act. How to be whoever you need to be in any given situation. I think you'll agree, Inspector, that business is about being the right person in the right situation at the right time. Yeah, that's a good what point. It, does, it, it helps them to detach themselves, become somebody new, pretend, you know, you know, that kind of thing. It's surprising what a little bit of cross-dressing can do for you, Inspector. You should try it. Mm, not at this stage. <laughs> <laughs> So tell me more about this doll burning. It's a symbolic ceremony we perform every few weeks on the court. What's it about? It's about burning your old personality and finding a new one, a better one. So the dolls are... You. They represent you from the past. Each doll has a picture of the student as a child or a teenager. Uh, and they burn the doll and symbolically destroy their old personality. It's quite simple, but effective, I find. And why did that girl shout? Because it's an emotional thing. She quite clearly become very attached to her doll. They do spend the first month with them. We tell them to take the doll everywhere with them oh. before they actually go through the doll burning. And you believe that's a good thing? Destroying your past? Of course it's a good thing, Inspector. We're all shackled to our past. Particularly you, by the sound of it, perhaps. Perhaps we should make a doll of you, Inspector, and burn that. What do you think? No, thank you. You're probably right. I'm not sure it would do any good anyway. Oh! <laughs> I didn't realize you were a musician. Oh, well, I'm not really a musician. I mean, I, I, I dabble a little bit. To be quite honest with you, I'm far more interested in collecting guitars. You're not in a band. Uh, well, I, I did audition. I did audition a few years ago. When I say a few years ago, of course, I mean about 20 years ago. <laughs> Doesn't time fly? <laughs> what band was that? Oh, I can't remember. Something Stone. Aren't they all called Something Stone? Hammerstone. That's it. Oh. And you still collect? Um, I haven't bought a guitar for over a year. I feel I've moved on. Can you tell me about auto-hypnosis? No. What would you like to know? Do you use it on the course? We dip into it occasionally, but uh, it's not a major feature of the course. I would say that, well, a minority of the students know how to use it, but the majority wouldn't know and have a clue. It's not a requirement of the course? No, not at all. We don't, we don't ask people to do things that they're not comfortable with. There's no bribery, no coercion. Uh, we're thinking That's about wrong. phasing auto-hypnosis out, actually. 
What's the reason for that? Uh, well, to be perfectly honest with you, Inspector, it doesn't actually work very well. What do you know about your father's money-stealing stunt? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, yes, that was something that Dan decided to do uh, as part of the shock aspect of the course. But he went too far, you believe? <laughs> he usually does. And do you think it did have anything to do with Liam's death? No, 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 no. Liam wasn't like that at all. I mean, that was just a simple, unfortunate coincidence. I mean, Liam had his own problems, but he didn't have any problems with the money shock stunt. No. What do you know about Emma Bowman criticising Liam before his suicide? I was there. I witnessed it. Uh, well, I, I know Emma blamed herself for his death. Did she? Well, she was upset and all of that, but um, I, I wouldn't blame her, Inspector. I, I really don't think she had anything to do with it at all. You don't think? Liam was a very confident person, very outgoing, very strong individual, or so it seemed. I mean, people are free to do what they like. Even something as irreversible as bumping themselves off. Sad though that is, of course. Hmm. Tomorrow you'll have internet, Chris. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Probably be back later. Oh, there's something here. <gasps> A flashlight. That'll come in handy. Don't know why I never remember to buy one. Was it in a dust bunny? Huh? Was it in a dust bunny? It was in a thing, I'm not sure. It looked like a dust bunny. <coughs> but now I can investigate that one shed. Nothing new here. I know a new part.
Ooh, what kind of contradiction can I find here? The mask symbol again. Looks like someone's been trying to make a point. Always gonna check the restaurant every now and then. <laughs> Gotta be something with that in that one end Couple of that more one questions, path. if that's okay. Have you ever seen these? Mm, it's Ryan's car. It got vandalized last year. His camera had been stolen, so I took pictures. Oh, whoever did it made a mess, didn't they? But nobody was prosecuted for it. Not that I remember. The insurance paid out, though. Thank you. Probably be back later. I go to the one hall now. Still nothing yet. Alright. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Do you know what these are? Yes, that's Ryan's car. Another toy he managed to ruin. It was vandalized sometime last year. You know who did it? I don't believe anybody was ever prosecuted for it. Do you think Emma's criticism of Liam on that last night led to his suicide? I doubt it helped. Did you encourage Emma to criticise him? I didn't encourage Emma to do anything. I merely told her what we tell every student to do, to express themselves as they want to. It would be out of order to criticise them after that, wouldn't it? However, I didn't expect her to criticise his birthmark, if that's what it was. That's a decision she took herself. So you didn't know her well? No, not at all.
I mean, I doubt he's going to know anything. I think pretty much I've Ask you a couple more things, please. on everything that's been going on. So... Know anything about these? Nope. Yeah, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Have you seen these before? Hmm. No. Don't know the car. Be back later on if that's okay. Do you know anything about these? Nope. Sorry. Thank you. Probably be back later. Oops. Ask about a few more things, please. Do you know what uh, these are? Oh yes, that's my old car. Uh, it was vandalized. Um, I took those for the insurance company. Where did you find those? At the pub. Uh, you know who did this? <laughs> yes. A girl called Lisa Blint. She was on the course, very strange girl. And why did she write the words devil worshippers all over your car? Well, she was a very strange girl. She had a lot of psychological problems. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure, Inspector. I, I mean, she, she took a dislike to the cause for some particular reason. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. And um, she asked for a refund. I declined. And she decided to spray her disapproval all over my car. Odd thing to spray, isn't it, though? Devil worshippers? Well, she was a very odd girl, Inspector. Uh, maybe she thought it was a way of getting back at us. I have no idea. Did Rebecca know about it? Well, yes, she did, but I, was, I wasn't about to unleash Rebecca on her. She can be quite fierce sometimes, you know. And I mean, the girl wasn't vindictive. She had psychological problems. She lives in the village, actually. Mm. Uh, the run-down house at the end of the lane. Can't miss Ah, oh, really? Right, thank you. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Could that be where Lisa lives? Uh -huh. Run-down house at the end of the lane. That's what Ryan said, wasn't it? Is it Lisa? Yes. Uh, Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. I wonder if I could ask you a few questions. What sort of incident? 
I'd rather come in and discuss it if that's all right with you. I promise I won't take long. Yeah, I promise I won't take long. I have a huge list of things I'll that are in yes. the game. I have to go out in a minute. Oh, oh, look, I, I can come back later. I might not be here. What did you want to ask? I just wanted to ask you, did you know Kate Vine? No. Right. Well, I heard that you're familiar with Atlas, the uh, life skills training company. What do you want to know about Atlas? Well, I heard you reacted badly to it. Of course I reacted badly. So would anyone. Now, why do you say that? Because they're devil worshippers. Devil worshippers? They're making demons appear. They're tricking everybody. Interesting. They're getting people to join up. Then they're putting demons inside them. You can see them. See who? Demons. Where could you see them? In the mirrors. At Atlas. Any mirror. You can't get rid of them. They stay inside you. So... How did you get rid of them? I didn't. You still see them. I just don't look. I put all the lights on. I make sure it's all bright. I put them on when I need to look in the mirror. I make sure everything is bright. I just see myself without yeah, seeing the other person. It's twice She's like me. Yeah, they should be home soon. But older. It's like her eyes sink in. She's all wrinkled. With a wrinkled mouth. Like she's dying. And then I realise I'm her. I'm not me anymore. I'm her. I'm sorry. I, I have to go now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ooh, is this game going into the supernatural? Ooh. Before I end the episode, I'm going to talk to uh, James about this. Yeah, at least I should uh, get along very well. That's okay. Do you know anyone who is interested in or involved with devil worship? Have you met Lisa? Which Lisa are you talking about? Mad Lisa. Lives on her own, doesn't like mirrors. Yeah, yeah, I've met her. You think she's mad? You can't look at yourself in the mirror Hello. without seeing ghosts. You've got problems, don't you think? How do you know her? <laughs> Came to the farm for some eggs a couple of times, but talking to her once at all. And what did she tell you? <laughs> Nothing much, except she thought the devil was after her. What did you tell her? Told her the devil needs a good reason to be after you. She was just like most people, really, blind to herself, except she was more extreme. That's all madness is, being blind to yourself. So, this is going to have to be it for this episode. Really interesting that... Uh, devil worshipping is coming up now. <coughs> I mean, they had like the whole, like, uh, devil horn symbol before, so... 
It's not surprising, but it's intriguing. I pancaked. So, let me know what your thoughts are on this whole thing. Click on whichever thumb you think is appropriate for this video. At least this episode, we got a lot done. And until next time, stay white and nerdy. Oh, what up,